Campbell soldier survived last December's deadly tornado, only to lose most of his belongings, including his wife's wedding dress, just three months later. Chief investigative reporter Jeremy Finley found the reason his belongings are gone. His apartment complex threw them out while he was training out of state. You can see all the debris start to fly. When Roy Wilson first captured the approaching tornado last December, this was your view outside your apartment. Yep. The Fort Campbell soldier could not have imagined both the damage it would cause to his complex. It was terrifying. And that somehow his apartment would be untouched. You didn't lose anything in the tornado. Right, I didn't lose anything. I lost stuff after the tornado. Among his belongings that are now gone, the flag given to him at his grandfather's funeral, his wife's wedding dress, some of his own military uniforms, all of it thrown out by his complex Wynwood Apartments. All of that stuff's just gone, and I'll never be able to get that back. According to this letter from a Fort Campbell attorney to Wynwood Apartments, Wilson was told to vacate the apartment complex as it underwent repairs, and that he could move across the street to another complex during construction. That Wilson checked daily on his apartment until he left for out-of-state training. That's when he says the complex called him. Did they say, come get your stuff? They did not. They asked me, they called me, they were like, hey, we noticed you still have some stuff inside the house. So I told them, I was like, just work around it. You can move it around, you can touch it. You were very clear not to throw it away. I was clear twice. They called me twice about it. But when he returned on February 2nd. Everything was cleaned out. It was, the house was spotless. It looked like nobody had ever lived there before. In an email to Wilson's Fort Campbell attorney, Winwood's attorney writes, when more than 30 days elapsed following your clients vacating the premises, the remaining items became considered abandoned and were therefore disposed of by the landlord. As such, Winwood denies any liability in this matter. What do you say to the fact that they say, listen, we gave you ample warning to move your stuff out? I'm just mad at them. I mean, I don't have words to put to it because it's just the whole situation, I just feel defeated over everything because I lost pretty much everything I owned. While the soldier says he lost more than $14,000 in belongings, some of what is gone is priceless. I can put a price on everything else, but I can't put a price on him. So how long should this soldier have been given to remove his belongings? Well, I consulted with a Tennessee housing legal expert. She says his specific situation isn't addressed by state law, that it would likely have to be argued before a judge. The Fort Campbell attorney's letter says the complex should pay the full amount. Private Wilson says he wants to sue. Jeremy Finley, WSMV4 Investigates.